how was the emotion in that moment when you finally, you know, kind of got that moment where you defended your title? Still waiting on that moment, brother. It hasn't came yet. I thought I was going to have it with Robbie. It's kind of bittersweet because he was a friend and a teammate, so I, I didn't really feel the need to celebrate. Um, obviously, the anticlimactic moment in New York and then this moment, so hopefully my next few defenses or so, I'll, I'll finally feel that, that feeling like I'm the champion. Is there some part of you that's like looking to maybe get a different stylistic matchup now? Well, I'd be a damn liar if I said no, for sure. You know how much money it costs to train with Raymond Daniels, to train with Sage Northcutt, to bring in Avery Plowden, to bring in a guy from Orlando, a guy from freaking Virginia, a guy from Detroit. Um, it takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of time. I am ecstatic to train for a regular freestyle fighter, even if it's someone that, like, you know, a jiu-jitsu guy like maybe Damian Maya or a striker with good wrestling defense. Like I literally for an entire training camp, if I see another foot go towards my head, I'm gonna freak out. Low key, I kind of feel a little bit bad for Damian Maya because I feel like he should have been fighting me tonight. And um, he has a fight George. George is a tough matchup for him. You know, they couldn't have matched him up um, <laughs> any better as far as style matchup. It's very tough to take him down. And, and on George's side, you know, I'm a champion, man. This is a sport, and we got to do what we have to do. Um, I'm not in the business of trying to deny people their opportunities to, to try to feed their family and be a world champion. So uh, I'll watch that fight, see how it goes, and we'll go from there. I mean, were you hoping to have an idea of what comes next before that? Or are you comfortable waiting to that Maya Mazadal fight on May 13th? You guys giving me a lot of power because I run all the shots. I tell you who I'm fighting, when I'm fighting, how I'm fighting them. You know, I think we know how this game goes, guys. You know, I, I don't... I have an influence and I can speak on what I would like to happen, but at the end of the day, um, I'm not in absolute control of that. Um, but my managers will, you know, try to put me in a good, the best position for me. You know, George said this the other day, and, and I, can't, I can't really knock George for fighting Bisbing. You know what I mean? He made a lot of sense in his reasons for wanting to fight him, but it's all about timing. I never said I wouldn't fight Steven. I just didn't think it necessarily had to happen today. I could have fought Damian Maya. Then I could have fought him. You know what I mean? So it's all about shuffling the deck. So um, a lot can happen between now and May. You know, what, what happens if one of those guys, God forbid, incur an injury and then they're out? I might be fighting the person that's, you know, still healthy. Who knows? What if, what if something happens between George St. Pierre and Bisping with one of those guys are, you know, not able to fight? And I'm not wishing harm or injury on anyone, but we know our sport. We train so hard. Most of the injuries take place in the training camp just to get prepared for a fight. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to just stay in shape, stay training, and um, we'll see what happens.